Despite manufacturers ramping up production of common children's pain relievers containing acetaminophen and ibuprofen, many shelves remain empty, leaving parents with few options. So where can they turn? Pediatrician and founder of Kid Crew, Dr. Dina Kulik, joins us live now on CP24 Breakfast. Dr. Kulik, thank you for your time. Is this sick kids, few medication options? Is this situation getting better or worse in recent weeks? From what I hear from families, it seems pretty similar kind of over time. Some pharmacies seem to have these medications in stock, others do not, but usually there's some option otherwise in terms of being able to crush medications or use a medication that might be for an older child. As long as the right dose is followed for your child, there seem to be options available. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, our CP24 is Nick Dixon. He's away today, but he had one recommendation from a pharmacist to try a suppository. Now, most kids won't eat vegetables. What are the odds of that working? Actually, I find for some particularly picky children that don't want to take a medicine orally, suppositories can work very, very well because many young children are used to us changing their diapers and cleaning their bum, and they're used to us being in that area. And for many of them, they don't seem to really mind that option versus taking an oral medication. Okay, that's interesting. And if pain medications are scarce and doctors and emergency rooms are busy, are there some readily accessible solutions at home that might work to help deal with things like taking the edge off of a fever? Yeah, so keeping your child comfortable. Not every fever needs to be treated. Fever in and of itself is not dangerous. I, this is very important. I think a lot of families think that fever on its own is something that's dangerous and can hurt their child or damage their brain. That is not the case. Fevers are uncomfortable, and I always tell families you want to treat that discomfort. So if your child is sleeping and has a fever, you can absolutely let them be. Let them sleep. Let them sleep it off. If they're awake and they're uncomfortable using a medicine that you find that's more typically made for children, like the liquid medicines or the chewables, but if you are not able to find that, there are other options, including using suppositories or taking a pill that would be made for an older adult or a child and with the right dose calculated based on your child's age and any health conditions they have with your pharmacist you can help decide how much of that medicine to mix in with applesauce or pudding or something like that that might be palatable to your child mm -hmm. okay so figuring out the adult size crush dose of a pill is something that parents should talk with their doctors about Absolutely. So you want to know what your child's weight is. You want to make sure that they don't have any health conditions that would preclude us from using either acetaminophen or ibuprofen. We never, ever, ever want to use aspirin for children. Please never give your child aspirin. That is simply not safe. Mm -hmm. But acetaminophen or ibuprofen options can be crushed and mixed in with food or liquid. But we have to make sure the dose is appropriate to be therapeutic and not risk toxicity. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Pediatrician and founder of Kid Crew, Dr. D Dina Kula, thanks so much for your time this morning and your tips. Take care.